Hey guys, Tammy here. I'm Crystal. And I got my cousin Crystal with me. And welcome to today's mukbang. Um, we're at my favorite, one of my favorite taco shops called Alberto's. Okay, and Crystal's never been here. Not once. So we're going to roll through the drive-thru and order some bomb-ass Mexican food. Okay? Now, before we begin, let me tell you about today's sponsor. AdamandEve.com. All right? You guys know the drill. Okay? They got everything you need to help you bust that nut quicker and harder. All right? They got dildos, butt plugs, clip ticklers, oh. DVDs. All right? Might catch Crystal on one. Who knows? <laughs> okay? Uh, what else? That lingerie. They got everything you're going to need to really help you burn that nut out. All right? Now, listen. They're giving you guys 50% off any one item. Plus free shipping. 50%? And free shipping. So if it's $50, it'll only be $25. Yep, and then you don't got to pay for shipping. I don't know what else anybody else could ever want, okay? Um, so hop on there. Go to adamandeve.com. I'm going to put the link in my description. Use my code TAMMY, okay, to get your discount. Don't sleep on this shit, all right? Be busting. That's what I want you to do, Okay? That's what, I, that's what I want for you. All right? All right. You ready to eat? Yeah, but can I use the code too? Yeah. Crystal, yes. You can use my code Tammy and get you something. I just type in Tammy? Yep. I'll show you how to do it. It's real easy. It's easy. All right. Okay? All right. You, re you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. All right. We're at Alberto's. Oof. I already know what I'm getting. A flying saucer. A what? Flying saucer. Beef. How you doing? I'm good. Hey, can I get a flying saucer beef? Can I get some sour cream on the side on that? A large Dr. Pepper? Hmm, I'm gonna get something else. What should I get? Um, they got a chips with guacamole. Could I also get some chips and guacamole? Two cabeza tacos. That's uh, the softest meat. I don't know what it is, but it's good. What do you want to get? I'm going to try one of them cabazo tacos. Add another cabaza taco. And I'd like a California burrito with chicken. And a California burrito with chicken. And a large Coke. And a large Coke. Do they got a dessert? Yes. Thank you. Uh, that churro, stra uh, strawberry or apple churros. Oh, get a strawberry churro. Can we get a couple strawberry churros? They just got caramel. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, we'll take that. And that'll do me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I hope she got everything. How you doing? Good. He was kind of cute. Well, he wanted to fuck me. I could tell by the look in his eyes. Well, how you know he wanted to fuck you? Might have been wanting to fuck me, too. Well, I, he probably wanted to fuck both of us. You know what? You're right. All and right. that's been a theme lately. Lots of men want us together. It's like they forget we're family. I, you don't have threesomes with your, with your blood kin. I, I mean, you can't. How you doing? Yes. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> She said muy bien. In Spanish, that means very good. Crystal speaks Spanish. I bet y'all didn't know that. I speak a little bit of Spanish and, you know, enough to get me what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. This place is good. <laughs> this place is very good. We need to find a spot that's got shade, Crystal. I don't there see ain't no... a tree inside. I don't see no fucking trees. Okay. Um, Dr. Pepper and Coke? Yes. Ain't a tree. There's a palm tree, but they don't provide shade. No. That's just for looks. I don't see nothing. This is gonna be difficult. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, the flying saucer. Okay. Yeah, please tell me about this. Oh God, it's so good. So it's like, it's like, have you ever had fry bread? No. Okay. Fry bread's like a, like a Native American thing. Like, okay, if, I'm trying to think of what it's like. Almost like, um, God, how do you describe it? Like a pancake? Kinda, but it's, uh, thank you. My Dr. Pepper. Um, it's kind of like, um, what are those things at the, uh, no, that's not a good way to describe it. Damn, I don't know. Like a... I don't know how to describe it. Almost like a pita bread, but it's not. It's better. It's fried, and it's, it's crispy, and it's... That's the only way. I, I don't know how to describe it. So you got your fry bread or whatever. And you top, they top it with a sauce, refried beans, shredded beef, lettuce, cheese. Is it like a taco or a burrito? It, it's like a... It's all the same shit. Why don't they just call it a taco? Well, they, they wanted to call it a flying saucer. And that's how I ordered it to begin with. If they would have called it a burrito, I probably wouldn't have ordered it. But I saw a flying saucer on there. I thought... Okay, the tacos are carnitas or cabeza? On which one? The, the tacos. Cabeza. Cabeza. Yeah. Cabeza. I thought cabeza in uh, Spanish mean head. Cabeza. Because when you say headache, you say dolor de cabeza, which means pain of the head. I did a lot of studying in Spanish because I knew a fella that spoke Spanish. Well, I think cabeza is um, cheek, the cheek meat. Hey. No, it's good, Crystal. It's good. It's good. If you eat a chuck roast, I cook roast all the time. You're eating the ass. Well, that's different. That's ass. You think about eating somebody's face off, that's yeah. disturbing. You yeah, know? that's true. Okay. I yeah. mean, many a time I've eaten or had my ass eaten. Oh. I ain't had nobody eat my face before. I remember the first time I saw somebody getting their ass ate. I walked in on you and your boyfriend in high school, which, thank you. Could I get some extra red sauce? Yeah. Thank you. Which, by the way, is one of the questions. You guys asked some questions on Instagram. And one of the questions was something like, um, have y'all ever walked in on each other? First time I ever saw anything sexual, I was in what? What, fourth, fifth grade? Too young. I walked you know. in on Crystal eating her boyfriend's ass. And this, uh, back then, that was unheard of. That was not... She started it. She now, started that shit. Nobody did that back then. It's stylish now. What Every I was doing, very taboo. Everybody, exactly. But I knew that men loved it. Yep. One more thing. Did you order the churros? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't get those. Uh, uh, we don't have a strawberry. We have um, caramel. That's okay. Caramel. Caramel's good. How many? Two. Two. No churros de caramelo. Okay. Um. Well, I've been walking in and I... Because I was real excited. I got a D on my history. 23 from the churros. Thank, wait on the churros. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Uh, oh. Okay. Um. There you go. I wasn't sure. If you That's okay. Is there a fork in there? Yes. Okay. I remember because I was so excited, I got a D on my history uh, test. I'd never gotten that high of a grade before. It was great. And I came running home from school, and I, I remember I was running down the hallway, and I opened the door. I thought, Crystal, Crystal. I was like, so excited to tell you, and you were face deep ass. <laughs> In, in, uh, you were face deep in Todd's ass, and I didn't know what was going on. I said, uh, I was like, I thought, you know, I thought maybe you're giving him mouth to mouth. Something had happened to his, right, you right. know. And I was like, I was like, do I need to call now? You know, and you stopped and you had to have the talk. You had had met, you had had talks with me before, but you had to have the ass eating talk with me. You said, Tammy, no, I was just trying to, I was just trying to reach his his butthole clit with my tongue. Or it's a prostate. That's what the technical term, butthole clit. And that's when I, I was like, man, people lick each other's butthole? I, you know, I never thought about that before. So yeah, she taught me that. I've taught you a lot of life yes, lessons. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. All the life lessons I know came from her. Yeah, I don't know when it really started to take off, but I noticed a lot of people like, oh, yeah, I eat ass like, you know, a cupcake and stuff. And I thought... 
how come when I used to talk about it, everybody would say, you're eating some, they poop out of there. You know, they get grossed out. Well, now they see how it can bring the eroticism to a hundred percent or yep. more. I remember, uh, um, everybody, the whole family giving you shit because you ate ass. And they're saying, you're going to catch salmonella. You're going to catch mm -hmm. it, you know. And look at you now. Healthy as fuck. Never had salmonella. Never. Not once. I got pink eye a couple times. I yeah. did. But never sal. And, you know, pink eye is You just get the drops or whatever. Yeah. Dang, we're waiting longer on the churros than the regular food. <sighs> Shouldn't order the churros. I didn't know she didn't. They're probably going to taste good, though. Can y'all see Crystal? She it's did. hard for me to sit over here. Okay. I gotta lean. Okay. You know? I just wanna make sure you're in the in the shot. <sighs> Alberto's Mexican food. Alberto is. They got good sodas. Let me taste mine. You know how some places just have better sodas than the rest? That is really cute. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, honey. Okay. Let's go find us some shade. Oh, where the hell? I wonder if you can. Oh, right over there. Look on a Google map and type in shade, because sometimes I'll type in, you know, park or. Well, that, that's smart. I never thought about that. Like, where's parking with shade? And I don't, maybe you could tell your uh, people that on your channel, if you ever have to go somewhere, you just look on your phone and, and there's an app on there called Maps and you type in anything you want, McDonald's, AutoZone, Library, and it'll pop it up and it'll tell you, turn right on Smith Street, mm -hmm. turn left on 14th Street and take you right to it. Yeah. She just got, she, she just got an iPhone, so she's new to all this. She don't know. She didn't know about maps or nothing. I use them old books, you know. You yeah. open up the book and yep. You gotta find the street. Oh. All right. Here we go. Here. I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry, and and, and this is getting ready to spill everywhere. Oh. I can feel it. All right. Hold on. Let me go park over here. I saw some somewhere with shade. What happens if I don't use shade? Is the sun beats down on my phone. I'm filming with my phone. Y'all know, and it'll it'll cut out. It gets too hot. So I gotta find shade. There we go. When I get too hot, I don't cut out. I keep going. I believe that. <laughs> well. All right. <clears throat> you ready? Let's see what's in here. That's great. Let's do this. Okay. I gotta sit real close here. Ooh. Is that the one you was talking about? There's a Capesa taco. These are big. I've never ordered the, uh, the Capesa tacos here, and the, but those are big. Those are double the size of what I thought they was gonna be. Whoa. Okay. What you got in your bag? I have some forks. Okay. Some sauce or something. My sour cream. I think this is my California burrito. Your California burrito. And you gotta explain to them what a California burrito is. It's just a burrito that you buy in California. It's got french fries in it. Mm. This is a salad. No, this is my flying saucer. What the heck? That thing is huge. Well, look. You got the cheese, you got the lettuce. If you get up under there, you got the meat, you got the beans, you got the sauce, and then let me show you the little little bread they put. It's, it's thick, I can't get up there, but it's got a bread down there. 
Mmm. Mmm. Mm. You know mm. what they didn't give us? Mmm. What? The chips and guacamoles. That's all right. She was working hard in there. Sometimes you forget. All right. Mmm. Putting sour cream on my flying saucer. I should have asked for sour cream. Well, you have some of mine. Oh, damn, that's good. Yeah, here. We can't get these nowhere else. Nope. Only in California. And then I'm going to take my sauce. This is hard to eat in the car. Okay, I'm going to take my sauce. Mm. Gonna be hot. Mmm. Mmm. This is what I like right here. Oh man, let me just die. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna dig into it. I'm gonna dig into it. Damn. Mmm. Damn, it's good. Oh. Let me get the bread down there. Sometimes you gotta. It's so thick. There we go. Got a little piece of bread. Got a little bit of everything in this pipe. You can see the french fries just coming out of there. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That's big. Damn. Okay, here's what I love about it. You got the bread, which is really good and crispy. You got the meat, which is soft, and you got the hot sauce making it just a little hot. So you got the the hot and the and the saltiness, and then you got the sweetness of the dark pepper to counterbalance it. To counterbalance it. Oh, that's good. Damn. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. It's really hard to eat. It is. We're getting it everywhere, but it's worth it. Mmm. Mmm. It's really big. Mmm. <clears throat> Damn. I can't believe I never took you here. It's hard to sometimes do something new, you know? Mm -hmm. Just you get used to sticking to the regulars. Well. And we was wondering where we was going to go today. To Mukbang. And I thought, well, I guess we can go to KFC. And I thought, no, let's do something different. Let's go to Alberto's. <laughs> Have you ever met Alberto? Mm-mm. He might not have been working today. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm going to try my other taco before I get filled up on this. I'm going to ask a, answer a question. You guys put a lot of good questions up on Instagram, okay? Mm. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. Tammy, Crystal, most unusual thing you've masturbated with lately? Oh, lately? Um, or in general. Um... Yesterday, I masturbated with the Amazon box. <laughs> the box? Well, it was like a, it was just like a little, like a little box. But I didn't stick it in me. I just, I just used the edge to rub my clit. That is really wonderful. I, I never would have. You're thinking outside the box, ain't you? Well, I ordered something from Amazon, and, uh, and I, I don't even remember what it was, man. And then I was gonna throw the box away, so I thought. You know what? I'm gonna get some use out of this. You know, before I throw it away, before I recycle it, I'm gonna get some use out of this. I what about you? Was, I bet it was soaked, wasn't it? Yeah. You know it was, Crystal. Mm. I remember one time I was kind of desperate. I used the uh, a house slipper. Now, did you put that in you, or just rub? I just rubbed it. Yeah, I'll do that. It was soft on top, but had a harder 
side. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And I better know what you're thinking. Tammy Crystal, why not just use your fingers or your hands, okay? We do. But sometimes you want to, you want to use something that's not connected to you. Okay? And so that's what we do. Damn. Well, I figure with the house slipper, it would feel like a man's, you know. Yeah. Pubic area. Did it? With the so Yeah, with mm -hmm. the soft on the top. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Of course, you feel kind of silly when you're done, but when you're getting ready, you're like. You feel, yeah. You're uh, doing a. You know mm. that emoji with the eyes that are made of hearts? The heart eye emoji? That's mm -hmm. how you're looking at the shoe like... Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 <sighs> mm. I'm about done I forgot that. that it's got peppers and onions on there. I forgot to tell y'all. I can't eat no more of that. No? I'm really feeling it. I'll take that home to Daryl for whenever he comes back around again. He'll eat it. That man will eat any damn thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's probably from being in prison, you know, because they ain't got good food. That's true. I think that's why he thrives in prison so much. Mm. You gonna eat your taco? Yeah, I was just waiting. Let's answer another question. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna grab you know what we better do? What? Take a thumbnail. <gasps> Mm. Yep. Because yeah. we'll eat all the food before we get the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. This had a white liquid on it, the one I saw in the picture. Mm. This ain't got no liquid in Maybe it. Maybe sour cream. Ready? Yep. Got it. Mmm. Mmm, these smell good. I'm gonna finish my. Mmm. That's good. What's it got on there? Explain to everybody. It's got cilantro, onions, and meat for all I can see. Mm hmm. Ain't a lick of nothing else on there, I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Can I use some of this here? Mm hmm. I'd like to drive through and get some more sour cream. Mmm. 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 Ah. Right. Mmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. I like a good old tortilla. Ooh, that's hot. Damn. It is? I, um, temperature hot. Next question. <clears throat> And that's right, Crystal's got one of my my titty uh, pop suckets. You can, go, you can go to my website and get one. Eatmytrash.com. And I didn't even have to use a special code. Nope. I just got it for free. How? Is this the one you took off my, on my dresser? That's all right, now get me another one. She stole my pop socket. I mean, in, it, with all the stuff I've given you, I figured one little thing. You're right. That's why I didn't get mad. I thought I've stolen lost of shit from you. All right. Tammy. Crystal. How does it feel being the biggest celebrity and icon in the world? Mm. I've said this before. Um, I do feel like a regular person. But I understand when you mean celebrity and icon, because I, I do feel like an icon, and it feels amazing. That's all I'm going to say. It feels great to be so awesome. I mean, you knew, you always knew you was going to be a big celebrity. Always. I've said that since I was a kid. She'd come in the, uh, in the living room, you know, she's about... I'd say five and say, you know, I'm going to be a big star. Mm -hmm. And I'd say, show mm -hmm. me what you got. And I'd put the record on and she'd dance and she'd pretend she, had, you know, had a big boobs and start shaking them, yep. singing songs. Yep. Well. And acting like she, you know, 
Mm -hmm. Like I had a little microphone to hold the, you know, mm -hmm. thing. Hey, my name is Tammy and I'm a celebrity. Yep. And I will say, that's when you and Granny got in y'all's biggest fights was over me being, thinking I was famous or I was going to be famous. Because I'd go in there and say, I'm going to be a star. And Crystal would be like, you know, like she said, show me what you got. You know, and she'd put on a, a, a tape cassette or something. And I'd sing around and dance. And Granny would be like, stop feeding her those lies. She's not going to be shit. She's not going to be a star. And Crystal would have my back. And they'd get into the biggest fights over, over me. And I knew you was going to be. I believed in you. I believed in you. I know. And look at me now. Look at you now. One time at the talent show, you did a, I don't want to say strip tease routine, but it was very, for a sixth grader, it was very provocative. And you did get in trouble for it. Yeah. But you know what I said when she came home? I'm proud of you. Yeah, she did. That was great. You know, brought the house down. Yeah, she did. And she practiced for weeks for yeah. that. Yeah, I did. You helped me on some of the moves. Um, I'm going to try my... Um, taco now now listen i'm not a big uh, cilantro fan and they put a lot on here so i can handle a little bit but i'm gonna have to scrape some of this shit off i like the onions i like a little bit of cilantro is okay but they put I don't, I, don't, I don't need the stems and shit we get that off okay yeah all right take that to daryl all right here i go i'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream on there little bit here we go yeah we should have got two sour creams i'm gonna be honest with you when i knew she was gonna be a star as soon as you came came out because when you came out it was like a it was like all the lights shut down in the room and there was a spotlight on you you know and you didn't cry or nothing when you came out you just because you knew yeah like here i am world see me wait for me i'm gonna be yeah. Crystal, you're going to make me cry. you going to make me cry, Crystal. Crystal's always been my number one supporter. Okay, she has. And you know, the doctor's like, I don't know if everything's right with this child. We have to check. And I said, how dare you say that? Look at her. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. You've always had my back. <sighs> always. Since I want to start my YouTube channel. Everybody said I was stupid. Not Crystal. Not Crystal. I knew you was something different and special. Yeah. You got me all sentimental. <laughs> you got me all sentimental. Um, we got any more red sauce? Damn, this is hot, man. You can barely pick it up. Woo! All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's good. The meat was tender. I do need sauce, though. Yeah, they need something on there. I yeah. think they've got to put some kind of sauce. No more sauce? They didn't give us any more sauce? There ain't nothing in here. I asked for extra sauce. That's the thing. When you go to these places and ask for extra... Take care of your customers. Not only that, but look at the size of the customer. If you have a larger customer, you're going to need a larger cup. This kind of cup ain't good for someone our size. What's that going to cover? Nothing. One bite. Sour cream should come in a thing like this. Ask for extra butter. Two sticks. That's customer service. First of all, look the person up and down and say, "Exactly." Let me assess the situation and see how much extra. And oh, oh, it's going to be five dollars extra. We can afford it. I don't care. I'll pay for it. I'll splurge. Okay. You think I want one little butter? No. Put fucking ten in there. Okay. You think I need two sauces? I wouldn't have wasted both sauces on my flying saucer if I would have known I wasn't going to have sauce for my tacos. I would have sprawled it out. Sprawled it out. You know? Sprawled it out. God. This is good, though. It is good. Mm. Mm. 
All I'm saying is new business model. Look at the person and see, assess in your mind, calculate. We need to start a restaurant. Maybe one ounce. May, well, how much do you think this is? A cup, a half a cup? A half a cup per hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. So with me, that'd be mm -hmm. half a cup, half a cup, half. That'd be at least uh, two cups mm -hmm. of extra per. They do that with medicine. Why don't they do that with, uh, with the condiments? She's always been so smart. Always, man. Blows me away. Blows me away. Because I never thought about that. You know? Mm. 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 Damn, that's good. That was very oniony. You ever mm. use the side of your straw as a toothpick? It's a big old piece of meat in there. Just got it out. You ever stuck your clit in a straw just for fun? Just see if you can fit it in there? I have. Was somebody on the other end sucking it? <laughs> no, but you gave me an idea. That sounds kind of fun. It was. All right. Let's answer another question. Ooh. Tammy, Crystal, how's the food right now? I love it when y'all ask this. So good. Wish we had more sauce. Damn. Okay. Mm. Agreed. Um. I love this question. You ready? Yep. Tammy, Crystal, which celebrity would you never screw? Never. Damn. Maybe um, Whoopi Goldberg. I've got too much respect for her. You know, that's I. I just respect her, and I. You no. think it would ruin a? a yeah. Food? Yeah. What about you? Celebrity. I'm trying to think of a celebrity that is not fuckable. Could it be uh, like Bill? Probably like a Bill Clinton type, mm. like a politician. Mm. I'll if somebody's a movie star, a singer. In a band, you'd fuck them. I'd, I'd bang them no matter what because then you can get backstage passes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But Bill Clinton, you know, he already did his thing in the in the office and everything, and uh, he's <laughs> had his time to shine. So. Okay, I'd say Bill Clinton, but well, maybe a... Jimmy Carter. That's another political figure because he's very elderly. That's an intelligent answer because polit politicians always involved in sex scandals. Mm -hmm. And if you bang them, you don't get nothing. You bang uh, somebody in Motley Crue, you're getting backstage, whether you like it or not. Damn, that's smart. Okay. You're banging Steven Spielberg. Next thing you know, you're in a movie. You're in next E.T. Part 2. Damn. Exactly. Smart as fuck, dude. I never thought about that, Crystal. <clears throat> I'm always thinking. All right. <clears throat> Let's answer one more, and then we'll get into our churros. I'm ready for that churro. Cock or balls? Which one? I'm, I'm going to say cock, because a ball, I love a ball, but if I see a ball, I'm going to start laughing, because balls are, they just look yeah. like, I don't know, I can't explain it. Yeah. And what's a ball going to do for me? Can't put it nowhere. Can't do nothing with it. They just sat there. What's it going to do for me? No. Nothing. All right, here's our little churros. They're messy, but that's all right, because I need to clean my car anyway, so just fucking get it everywhere. Oh. Ooh. It's like opening up a little Christmas gift. All right, here's the churros. They say that a man's balls is equivalent to a woman's ovaries. I never heard that. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's just inside our bodies. So we have balls, but they're inside. Wow. 
Like size wise are the same? I think so. Mm. That's wild. So when somebody says, you ain't got the balls to do it, say, huh, yes I do, and point to your private area. Yeah, I like that. This is okay to me. It don't taste like caramel, I'll tell you that. No. It's okay. Guess who's got better churros? Polo Loco. El Polo Loco has the best churros. Crystal protects me in the middle of the night. I'm craving a El Polo Loco churro. This remind me of Bill Clinton. <laughs> 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 yep. Yep. Ain't that funny how that worked out? Yep. I'm gonna take take the rest of mine to Daryl. I don't care for that. I'm getting filled up. We got any more food? That's it. They forgot our chips. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> All right, guys. Hey, <clears throat> where do you want to see us eat next? <clears throat> We're about to uh, go back out on the road, so we'll be on the RV touring. So we'll be able to do some more RV mutt banks. Did y'all like those? I'll have Crystal in my next one. Let us know where you want to eat. Where you want us to eat? If you put it in the chat room, then we'll see it. Put it down below, okay? All right. Anything else you want to say, Crystal? And if you see me at a show and you think, "Oh, I'm too scared to approach her. She's a big celebrity," you know, approach me. But don't come approach me with the intentions of trying to get w with me to get to her. Yeah. I'll see right through that. Yeah, she will. Because if you start saying, hey, I want to get with you. But first, take me backstage and meet Tammy. I'll see right through that. Yeah, she will, okay? But listen, she's she loves meeting everybody. If you see her at Everyone. a show, come up and say hi to her. Give me a hug. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to touch my boobs, you can, please just ask first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can just yeah, ask, yeah. you know. Give her a little warning, you know, so she's not caught off guard. Anyway, yeah. Hey, we love you. Thank for thank you for watching the mukbangs. Listen, go to my description. Go either use my code. I've got uh, a vlog channel down there. Click on that shit. I'm gonna put Crystal's channel. Okay, so go follow her. Go give her a subscription. Don't watch this and not go do that. And all you have to do is, from what I understand, go on my thing and click it. There'll be a red button about this bitch, right? And it'll say, subscribe. Yeah, you take your it. mouse pointer like this, like you're using the mouse. Click. You got it. She's got it. She's got it down. Okay, we got mukbangs on her channel, too. All right? Hey, we love y'all. Love y'all. Bye. Bye-bye.